Hello, this is Tina Grunow, and uh, it's been a while since I've done a video. They got a lot to say in this one. Um, well, first of all, uh, there's some video responses, and there's a lot of them, so I don't know if I should do it this way or not, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> um... Amy Garcia is doing a birthday card for her son. Oh, and I didn't get his name. But anyway, if you look at the video, um, it's Amy Garcia, and her son's birthday is next month, and she's wanting to, or is it December? No, it's December, I'm sorry. Uh, she's wanting people to send birthday cards to him he is in the marines and he's overseas and he's just i guess uh, has had negative reception from people and so he's not in a really good mood about that and then of course she's his mom so it hurts her and she just wants everybody to do a video uh i mean video um a card or tag or something um, because it is going where they fight and stuff like that. No glitter and no metal objects on it. Um, glitter because they could get it on their uniform and then it could reflect. And metal because, um, well, it's the army. <laughs> that should be pretty explanatory there. So just go to her, uh, channel his favorite colors are blue and black. He loves Cookie Monster. And he loves chocolate chip cookies. And she wants whatever you send uh, sent to her by December the 1st. And then the next one is Enchanted Staff. It's for Ava's birthday bonanza. Um, Ava's her daughter. She's going to be five on her birthday. Uh, I can't remember what, when her birthday is, but the deadline is November the 21st. I think it's November 28th or 29th. I could be wrong. But again, if you go see her video, Enchanted Stuff, and, um, she wants you to make a card or a tag or an altered item, anything for, you know, a little five-year-old girl. And she's girly. And she likes purple and pink. She is going to be five. She likes Princess, Tinkerbell, anything Disney. Hello Kitty, Miss Piggy, Smurfette. I think there was a couple others. Um, and the prize that she's giving is like a $100 gift card or gift, an e-gift card or something and some other stuff. So it's a pretty big one and I guess she's doing it because it is her daughter. And, uh, so go check her out, Enchanted Stuff. And then Crafty Gal 32, Vicky, um, is doing a giveaway. It's due to be due by December the 5th. She wants you to do a tag and two bottle caps. In vintage or shabby. And if anybody has seen Crafty Gal 32's videos and what she usually gives, she gives awesome, awesome stuff. Um, mesh bling and laces and trims and, oh, and she makes um, cameos and resin pieces and flowers. I mean, she is just extremely ta talented. Okay. Um, okay, Brittany H. Um, if you go to this video, and I have not got the names of the videos, I'm sorry, but, <clears throat> but Brittany H. Um, her deadline on hers is November the 29th, and she wants you to leave a comment, send her or her son a card, and his name is Landon. Um, I just seen that like a couple
couple days ago, so I don't know too much about it. I haven't done the card yet, so those are the ones I haven't done the stuff for. So um, now I'm going to show you the ones that I have finished, and I want to get all these together and send them out one time. You know, a lot less traveling, right? And so, okay, Renee. I know I'm not going to say this right. Renee Van Wawa. <laughs> I know I didn't say that right. Uh, nay, nay. <laughs> um, she wants you to do a tag. And I don't have the deadline on here. That's terrible. But we all know nay, nay, Renee. Just go to her video and look at it. But it says do a tag. And you do it in your style. Um, on the back of it, she wants you to put her birthday, your favorite colors, and personal information. You know, if you have any children, grandchildren, pets, you know, whatever you want her to know about you. I should put it on the back. Now, I've not completely done with this. I was going to put her initials on it, and I don't usually show the stuff. I let them be surprised, but I figured why not? I just go ahead and show it. But... The reason a tag is because she says she's horrible at making tags. So, um, so that's what she wants everybody to make. Anyway, yeah, I believe she's giving goodies away. But <clears throat> this is my tag that I made for her. Uh, the doily, I colored the middle of the doily a long time ago, just playing around. And her favorite color is red, so I put a red flower and a little bling in the middle. And these, <laughs> the red thing behind this is the punch, like the flower punch, um, AK Success Punch, I think it is. Um, anyway, I put one on each side of that, and then this here is part of a gold doily that I got at a yard sale that I've showed a long time ago. And then I put look, three little flowers up there. And this little charm thing here, I decided just to put on top here. Um, that was given to me by S.F. Traub. Uh, Shelly is the one I did the embellishment swap with a little while ago. And then here's this pretty ribbon that I got at a daycare closing out sale. Which I'm going to share that with you in a few minutes. And I punched little holes in the side. And I put my information in this little envelope. And this envelope came from KSU1616. Um, we all know about her. But anyway, this has got my information in there. And I got that idea from uh, Marla H. Because she put her information on the back of... Uh, what she made for uh, Letty and her challenge, which I'll be talking about that next. Anyway, this is the tag. I'm going to send that to her. Okay, why is it lumpy? Oh, scissors. Okay. And, let's see. Letty. Uh, my Little Sweet Peas. She wants you to do... There's two different ones you can do, basically. Uh, one is you can do a card with a trinket box. Um, and that one she wants made with flowers, lace, pearls, butterflies, and bling. And um, you can win a $50 gift card. and um, Or she can do um, downtown LA shopping for you. You can just go check out her video on it. And then the next one is a pennant. I've never made a pennant. So I was like, well, why not? So, um, anyway, this is, uh, and she wants you to make the pennant with a charm or a stick pen. And on it, she wants all the same as what she did on the card, but she wants, uh, she didn't say anything about bling, but I put bling on mine, so. And now that I'm thinking about it, I think I made it upside down. Oh, well. <laughs> hope that's going to be okay. <laughs> um, and again, on the back, she wants your personal information. 
Yeah, I think I was supposed, after I seen some of hers, I think you're supposed to make it upside down. And I made it the right way, so. Oh well, either she'll like it or she won't. But anyway, oh, she wanted an image on it, so there's the image. And the little eyes are made out of a couple, um, I forget what you call them, but the little bling. And there's some pearls. Two strands of pearls. And then there's a little fan and a flower. And I put a little, same thing as the eyes, I put one of those in the middle there. And this little domino came from um, SF Straub, I believe, yeah. I believe that came from her. Don't think she made it. I think she got it like that. And then there's some lace, lace on the row, and she wanted butterflies. So there's the butterflies. There's some more, and then there's lace just behind it there. And then, then there's a little flower that came from Shelly. Another flower they came from a yard or yeah, my yard sale. And this little flower uh, came from Crafty Gal 32. And then I went ahead and I made it to where she can hang it up if she wants. So there's the two pieces of lace continuing. And then bling there. Um, that's uh, mesh bling. And then again on the back, I put the inf information in the envelope. So there's that. Everybody else has pretty much been making... The card and trinket box go with it. I one thing. That's all I'm making. And I did make it upside down. So. <laughs> oh well. Um what else was oh yeah, I went to uh, in our area there is a daycare that's going out of business. They already sold the business. Um they were just trying to get rid of everything they had. Um so I went one day and uh, bought quite a few things. Um, bought that container. Yeah, let's see. And I bought that one and that one. Um, and then each one had different stuff in it. Um, you know, punchers and staplers and some glue sticks, some highlighters, blah, blah, blah. Um, what else did I get? I can't even remember what else I bought. I bought some books and, um, just some odds and ends stuff here and there. Um, bought one of those little tykes picnic table for my grandkids. Um, I wanted to take a yard sale went a while back and I got me, I don't know if you can see the scoreboard but I got a scoreboard finally uh, I paid four dollars for that um my mom moved out or my mom's in the nursing home and I'm having to move all her stuff out so some of her stuff I'm gonna eventually you know just keep here cause she's never going back home so um but like that purple Cerulite case the pink one there, the sewing kit, those two blue things there. She's got some more stuff, but I just haven't brought it here yet, but I got all that. Um, I'm trying to remember everything I wanted to say, and I'm not doing so good, I don't think. Um... Yeah, I just went to the... Yeah, the yard sale. Um, went to a yard sale Saturday and uh, found these books. Uh, they had Victorian outfits and dresses. Now, I've not trimmed it all the way up, but it had stuff like this in it. Just different dresses. Victorian ladies. Just a bunch of different, there were two books. This was one. And there was a bunch of them in here. And I haven't trimmed them up completely yet. But, 
yeah, you can see it's a whole bunch of them. Really pretty. And then the other one was like a coloring book. So there's one lady. And there's the other lady. And I'm going to have my husband... Um, what do you call it, um, copy one on the other side, so I'll have, you know, two of each, I could trim it up better, anyway, um, and then found this book, and it's one of those ready-made books, anyway, and, uh, she had a little container with some tags, and little, uh, Tim Holtz bags, and, some little cards and stamping blocks and blah blah blah. Anyway, I only paid two fifty for all the stuff I got there. But um uh Kesu sixteen sixteen. Oh scrappy Kesu, I believe sixteen sixteen. Um she had made me some envelopes or pockets. And that's where the pockets are coming from on the bags I showed you. Maybe some pockets a long time ago and had said that if I ever wanted any more, just send her some paper and she'd be glad to do it. Make some more. And she did. And she sent them to me and she sent a bunch. Um, and she also was selling those shape scissors. Or I call them crazy scissors. Um, for $5, she was a stash of them. I bought those off of her. Uh, she sent those to me and I've got them. In the middle there, and there's my ATG gun I'd gotten from Scrap Buttons and Bows. Um, I took my glue out of the middle so I could put that in there. And my glue is in my... Yeah. <laughs> um, I do want to let you all know, if you don't know, these Ot Lights. Um, I think this one came from Walmart for 20 bucks, I believe. Um, when those lights blow out... I wasn't able to find the exact same light to go with that, so this one is a lower wattage. Uh, but I was able to find it at uh, Home Depot, paid six something for it. So if any of you ladies know if anywhere that I can get them cheaper or you know the same wattage as they come in, or if you just don't know and that's the best deal you can think of, just let me know. Um, I'm trying to find those. Oh, here we go. These are pockets. You just got to fold them up and the paper right center. Um, and she sent me some other stuff. Um, like she, you know, had separate the little, uh, round things that you can, you know, take the string and put around it. Um... Anyway, uh, that was very, very appreciated. And then Lori, girl from the Bay, loves to do junk journals. And I had seen a video one day that she was doing one. And I made a comment to her that I thought it was really pretty. And I would, you know, I would love her to make me one. And, and I, you know, I said, would you like to do swap? Or, you know, I could, I could pay you for it. I can't pay a lot, but I could pay a little bit if you made me one. And because many albums and stuff like that, it's not something I have even tried yet. And I just don't even know if I could really do them or not. Um, and I know they're pretty simple, but to someone else, simple in here is not simple to someone else. I sometimes can't get my hands to work right so um it's like it misses a connection from my brain to my hands <laughs> so the many albums i did try just did not work out but I'm, I'm gonna give it a try again um see what i can do but i finally got mine today and she put this pretty um charm on here isn't that pretty? And that little charm says live. And it's metal. And then this hair looks like uh, one of the old buttons from your jeans. But it's flat. And then that there. Let's see. I don't know if I didn't look. I didn't look at you. Okay. 
There we go. Oh, wait. Hold on. I'm losing it. Uh, what is that? I can't see it through here. Well, uh, anyway. That bead there. And then the ribbon. Anyway, here's the front. And this is a metal piece. And then this banners. Really cute. She's got this envelope in the side, and then here's a doily, and there's a tag in here. And then she's got this paper. Oh, yep, see, paper. And this one here. And this here. And an index card, a little bit of veneer. It says memories. And then regular piece of paper says just a line. And then this little thing here. And then this here has a thing. Got the T and another little thing and life is and and you know these cars that Michaels were selling. Another piece of paper it's here. More stuff in an envelope. It's got some in here, but I'm one-handed, so I can't get it out. And this, and then this one, and this one, and then there is nothing. Yeah, there's something in there, but again, one-handed. And then she's got two like. Uh, bookmarks and there's paper clip some stuff in there and there's a tag oh. another wood veneer it says home is where the heart is and this part here this here life is good Okay, memories, and she wadded that up. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, right there. This, she made a big one. She put a lot of work into this, I think. Uh, what Bernard says, bliss. That's, you know, so I didn't do whatever. Yeah. And this is, uh, she stamped on, looks like, uh, paper shag that she wadded up, put it in there. I thought that was kind of cool. And well, that's paper clipped. Giggle. And one of those paper clips. Arrow. Oh. Heart. More stuff. That's feeling and glittery. There you go. Home is where the heart is again. A card. Paper with a crown. Another envelope with something in it. And paper clip. Typewriter. A paper sack. Baby paper sack. Love it. Another thing with something in it. And there's the back. Oops. And this looks vintagey to me, so. And then she got on the back the book, book balloons, too. So. I thought that was really cute. But I think that's it. Uh, any comments or questions, just leave them and I'll get back to you. Alright, thanks. Bye.